Good morning and welcome to the Children and Family Worship and I'm Sandy Brown, the Children and Family Worker from Christchurch United Reformed Church and let's begin today by singing a tune, a song to the tune of My God is so big, so strong and so mighty and it goes like this. This story's so big, so good and amazing, it tells us that Jesus is King. Transforming his face, his clothes and his body, so everyone knows he is King. Yes, Jesus is good, his love is so good, his acts are amazing and new. This story's so big, so good and amazing, and it tells us that Jesus is King. I hope you were able to join in with that. So our Bible reading today is from Mark 9 verses 2 to 9. Before we begin, I'm going to introduce the three main characters in our story. Here is Jesus. And we have Moses. And we have Elijah. As you know, Jesus is in the New Testament. Moses was around a long time before this in the Old Testament. Oops, there he is. And so was Elijah. In fact, Moses was about 1,500 years before and Elijah 870 years before Jesus. So Moses, he was the guy that led the people out of Egypt and Elijah was a very important prophet. In fact, all three of them were considered very important prophets, which means that they told people messages from God. So can you imagine how people felt, how people might have felt if Moses and Elijah, two, two Old Testament prophets, had suddenly appeared with Jesus. Now let's read our Bible passage to see what happened. So Jesus had been travelling around with his friends around the villages talking to the crowds that followed him and teaching his friends about God. One day he took Peter, James and John and led them up a high mountain to be alone. As the men watched, Jesus' appearance changed. His clothes became dazzling white, far whiter than any earthly bleach could ever make them. Then Elijah and Moses appeared and began talking with Jesus. Peter exclaimed, Rabbi, it's wonderful for us to be here. Let's make three shelters as a memorial, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He said this because he didn't really know what else to say, for they were all terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them and a voice from the cloud said, This is my dearly loved son. Listen to him. Suddenly they looked and Jesus uh, sorry, suddenly they looked around and Moses and Elijah were gone and they saw only Jesus with them. As they went back down the mountain, he told them not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. Let's praise God now as we sing, My Jesus, My Saviour. My Jesus, my Saviour, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength, let every breath, all that I am, Never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. 
I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. I hope you're able to join in. Let's talk about our Bible verses. So, a very weird thing happened. Jesus is with, let's take it in again, Jesus is with three of his closest friends, climbs up a mountain with them, and suddenly things change. All of a sudden, there are no longer four of them, but two more people have appeared from nowhere. And what's more, they are all... Oh, sorry, what is more? They are people who must have died hundreds of years earlier. Apart from Jesus. So, that's not the only thing. Jesus has changed. He is brighter than bright. Dazzling bright, in fact. So what is going on? The three friends of Jesus are absolutely terrified, and Peter is the first to speak. He starts talking about making a shelter for them. As so many of us do, he's talking nonsense because he doesn't understand what is happening and feels like he has to fill the silence left by the others. Then God speaks from a cloud. This is my son. Listen to him. Previous to this, Jesus had been talking to his disciples about the fact that he had to die. Peter had not understood this and didn't want Jesus talking in this way. Like none of us would really. We don't want people talking about death, do we? But this was part of Jesus's mission and it had to happen. We are fortunate that we know the end of this story, that Jesus comes back to life. But this was all news to Jesus' friends. By taking them up the mountain with him and showing them the glory of God, with the shining clothes and the strange appearance of these three important figures from history, Moses and Elijah, Jesus was trying to help them to understand the truth that he was the son of God. So let's just put my little figures down. And now it's time to talk to God. Lord God, there are lots of things we don't understand about you and your kingdom. Help us not to doubt in you. Thank you, Lord, for always believing in us. Amen. And let's do the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Now, if you'd like to join in our Sunday Club session at 11.15 on Sunday, then please message me for the link and I'll see you there. Goodbye for now.